Hey guys, today's guitar lesson is Travis Scott, Wake Up. It's an awesome guitar loop, pretty simple to do, really, really effective. Here's the demo and then let's check out the lesson. Hey guys, so let's get stuck into the lesson. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, really looking forward to it. Um, before we go any further, it's worth downloading the tab that I've created for you guys for this. It's on my website, link in the description below, so check that out. Um, and let's get stuck in. So we're gonna start by looking at the three chords that this riff is based around. Uh, first one is G major seven, looks like this. Got second finger on the third fret of the, uh, the E string, playing our root note. We're gonna have third and fourth fingers on the fourth fret of the middle two strings. Okay, so we've got the major seven and the major third here. Can we get that sound? Okay, so making sure we're muting the A string there and we're not bothered about the top two strings in this voicing at all. So just don't play them or keep them muted with your second finger. So that's our first shape that we need to know. G major seven. The next one is going to be uh, F sharp major. Uh, Perhaps a more conventional shape to this one. We're going to have a uh, first finger on the second fret of uh, the E string playing our root. We're going to have third finger on the fourth fret of the A string playing our fifth. And we're going to have the second finger on the third fret of the G string playing our major third. Again, we're going to make sure we're muting the D string this time, um, probably using your, your first finger because we're not actually, although it looks like a bar chord, we're not barring across this one. And we're getting these three notes. So again, lots of muting going on there. So we're not hearing anything from the D string, anything from the B and E strings. Okay. We then go back to our G major seven chord that we had before. Okay, so we're familiar with that one already. And the last one we have is gonna be B minor seven. So again, you might be familiar with this chord. This is the, the standard voicing for this down here. We're gonna bar across the second fret, not including the low E string with our first finger. And then we're gonna have a third finger, sorry, third fret on the B string using our second finger, and we're gonna have third finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Okay, and we get this shape. So we're not muting any middle string in this one, we want four strings ringing out nice and clearly, B minor seven. Okay, and then there's basically some fills around that that we're gonna look at now. Okay, so actually looking into the riff, we're gonna start with our G major seven shape, and we're just gonna split it between the bass and the top, and we get this. Probably use your fingers for this. Uh, you could use a pick or, or hybrid picking if you wanted to, but I think you're gonna get the most authentic sound if you use your fingers and really you know, put some, uh, some energy into the strings here. So G major seven with our left hand, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna play with our thumb, the bass note twice, and then we're gonna really, really aggressively attack those middle two strings. And then we're gonna do one of each, so two bass notes slide down these middle two strings, our third and fourth fingers are going to go down two frets. Okay, so again real slow, two, three, four, and... Okay, so it's not our bass note that's sliding, just the middle two fingers that are sliding here, okay? Worthy of note is the vibrato. I'm not sure who the guitarist in this actually, I should have looked that up, but it's a wicked part. Um, but uh, every time he's kind of got that little sustained chunk of chord, put some, some vibrato on the, on the chord, it sounds really cool. So there, some, some nice vibrato. Okay, and now we're done with our G major seven chord, moving on to the next chord. Okay, we're going to go to our shape that we covered at the beginning of the lesson uh, and we're going to pick again, same, same idea, bass note twice and then the, the two middle notes of the chord. So in this case, rather than two adjacent strings, it's the uh, A and G strings. So you've got to be a bit careful here. So our thumb with our right hand is going to play the bass note and then we're going to pick out those two notes with your, your first and third or first and second finger, I like first and third there. And again, you can put some vibrato any of those sustained chords there, okay, here we go. So, from the beginning.
Okay. Next up, we're going to go back to our G major 7 chord. And we start it in exactly the same way that we did at the beginning. No problems there. And then we get this wicked little fill here. Okay, so what we're doing here, fingering really important here, we're going to hammer on with our second finger from open A to the second fret on the A string. We're then going to have our third and fourth fingers ready to play the second fret on the uh, D and G strings there. Okay. And what you've got to be careful with here is that your second finger that hammered onto the A string there doesn't stay ringing when you play that next chord chunk else it gets a little messy when we slide up. And we're going to slide just those middle two fingers again, not the, not the second finger, up two frets. with me so far? Okay, really, really cool fill. We're then uh, going to go on to, where are we? Our B minor 7 here, B minor 7. Okay, so it's our conventional minor 7 shape here. We're going to play our A string with our thumb, and then just split the chord in so that the fifth and the top two notes there with our uh, second and third fingers on our right hand. Okay, so let me take, go, take you from that, um, that second G major 7 uh, idea there. Okay. Love it. And then we get this really cheeky little fill at the end. Uh, we're going to position shift up to 5th fret with our 1st finger. And we're going to be sliding uh, on the B and E strings here, 5th fret. Okay, so we're going to pick both strings at the same time, slide up, and then do the opposite. So slide up, slide down, and then finally we pick uh, the B string first and then the E string to finish. Okay, so let me play you uh, really slowly from the beginning what we've got so far. And then there's only a tiny little variation that they do on the repeat of that, um, of that riff, and we're, we're good to go. That's the guitar part covered. So from the beginning, for the first repeat, we have this. Three, four. So the second time that we play through this, that's the only variation we have. So when we go to that F sharp uh, major chord, instead of playing what we did before, which was that, we're going to just really, really powerfully hit this B note on the G string. So it's a uh, fourth fret on the uh, on the G on the G string. And you can kind of, throughout this as well, put some subtle percussion in with your right hand, just tapping the strings, uh, gives it a bit more vibe. Um, and he does that here as well. Okay, so just really getting your, your first finger underneath the string. It's kind of like a, you know, a pop if, you, if you're a bass guitarist. Really uh, getting some aggression behind that. And then the rest of it is exactly the same uh, as we did the first time around. Uh, so let me play it for you one more time, nice and slow, all the way through. Three, four. Okay, so what a cool guitar part. Thanks very much to my student Harry who, uh, who showed me this track, really, really cool. Uh, if you have any suggestions for songs you'd like to see me cover next, please let me know in the comments. And uh, also let me know how you got on learning this song. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if it helped you out this video, please do hit subscribe. That would be great, we really help the channel. And uh, definitely loads more content coming soon. Uh, it's been far too long. See you soon.